So this is a fun simulation put out by NASA, which basically explains how a airfoil interacts with the air and the pressure in the air in order to generate lift. So as you can see, this is just a normal airfoil. You can see the Reynolds number uh, are right here. Your coefficient of lift, your lift, your drag, uh, your coefficient of drag, and then your L over D ratio, which the Reynolds number changes based on density of your fluid, your velocity, the length of how long your object is, and your kinematic viscosity. So you can change this by changing where you are in this specific si simulation. So when you're in water, your Reynolds number goes way up because you have a lot more density than air. So that affects your Reynolds number, increasing it. It also affects, affects your drag and lift. So we have zero lift right now, which is really bad. So if we change our angle, you can start seeing lift go up. And at this point, you can see the airfoil. There's a lot of cavitation occurring on the back end of your foil. So that creates more drag, which is very bad. And you can see this coefficient of drag here. So as we increase the angle, our coefficient of drag and drag go up until you reach a suitable number. So that's just a really cool thing that the Reynolds number has to do with in real life.